Hi, my name is David Craker. I, I'm a geographer and a data dissemination specialist at the United States Census Bureau. Now we're going to take a look at what we call the SAPE tool. If we come up here to the URL and we put into our, our URL www.census.gov, it will bring us to this website. And we just come over here to surveys and programs right in the middle tab, come down here to the bottom right here where it says small area, income, and poverty, and click on that. It brings us to a page called a Small Area Income and Poverty Estimates, SAPE, or SAPE program. And really what I want to do is scroll down just a little bit, and right here where it says SAPE Interactive Tool, I click on that, and it will load, and then up here, to the upper left of the map, there are four little arrows and you click on that and that will make a full screen map of the United States that we can look at. And so over here, what, what this does on the left, it says um, poverty rates or income and we have different options right here. Now it's showing us all ages and state uh, by state and county. So you can see the whole of the United States. But I really wanna show you school districts because we've just spoken about school districts in this module so i click on on the left there's a chip here halfway down it says ages 5 to 17 in families school district click on that and it will change that map for you it will show us all the school districts in the united states and so if we look at that from far away over here on the east coast of the United States, you can suddenly you can see that here's Pennsylvania right here where I have my cursor and north of the Pennsylvania line, you can see it's much darker. So we have smaller school districts. And below that, south of the Pennsylvania line, Maryland line, we, we have like a whiter, lighter colored area. And that generally means that school districts are larger. So let me just use my little mouse key or, uh, my mouse and I'm using the wheelie thing in the middle of the mouse and I'm scrolling in so we can just take a better look and it does take you know 30 seconds for the image to catch up so here it is I'm going to move the image a little bit I hold down my my left mouse key cursor and I kind of drag this okay so we're actually looking at an area that has New Jersey right here Delaware, Maryland, Pennsylvania. And if you if you can notice, uh, anywhere that is north of the uh, Maryland, Pennsylvania line, uh, where Pennsylvania and New Jersey are, you can see very small school districts. And so these are areas that we talked about earlier uh, in the module where the school districts tend to follow municipal boundaries, not always, but they, they tend to. Uh, notice New York City, up here, I'm holding my cursor there right now. New York City is all one school district, so it looks very large. But now look further uh, south or lower on the map and anywhere in Maryland or further south in uh, Virginia, you can see that many, many of the school districts are done countywide. And so you are half a county wide. And so you see larger areas uh, and there's a different sort of uh, system for creating those school districts than what you see north of the Mason-Dixon line. And so that is something you can look at. Uh, and just out of curiosity, if you hover over one of these with your cursor and click on it, it gives you the SAPE estimate right there. So the poverty uh, estimate for, and if we look on the left over here, it says ages five to 17. So that's the, the poverty rate. So 10, if I hold this here, for Cecil County Public Schools, it's 10.8% uh, or wherever I hold this, I will see that estimate for that school district.